50 AE, that's a big boy, out of this Desert Eagle. You may notice, it's gold. But not only that, it's the tiger striped gold. Yeah, I wanna shoot it. Yeah, you should okay. shoot it. I can shoot it? Yeah, be careful, Is it hold loaded? on tight. It's loaded, ready to fire. Go ahead and rack it in there, pick a target. Okay. Just enjoy yourself. Whatever you wanna shoot, all yours, buddy. I like that. Hold on tight. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Also, welcome Whistling Diesel. What's up, Hello. dude? Hey. I uh, didn't want you to mess up any of my nice guns, so I got this one. It's actually brand new. I got it just for you. Really? Yeah. I want to shoot the 50 cal. It's a 50 cal-ish. This is a high point carbine. Have you ever shot a high point anything? I just shot the 50 cal. What 50 cal? Just all of them. <laughs> I've actually never shot a high point carbine before. It's made by the same company that makes those really ugly, blocky, bulky, stupid pistols that actually run pretty well. Like, it's, I mean, I hate them. Like, I hate them, hate them. But like, we've actually had fairly good luck with them. So we saw this and I bought it. It is brand new. I didn't get it at a pawn shop. All we could find was camo, which is the ugliest camo I've ever seen. Also, high points come with giant warning labels. Can you read this one for us just to, so we're extra safe? Do not shoot within six inches of target. Um, yeah, that's, has a short good. barrel. Do not hold fingers in front of barrel when shooting. Does it really say that? Pretty much. Do, it, do it not really extend does. fingers beyond. The carbine has a short barrel. Do not <laughs> extend your fingers past the muzzle of this weapon. This label may only be removed by the owner of the firearm. You can't do Actually, I'll I'm screw no it. Let's break the rules. YouTube can't see it. Be careful. So I got to take it off? Oh, great. Even their What's stickers are poor quality. For safety, do not fire a gun at Caution, any time. You could die. Gun could dismantle spontaneously. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That actually could, that could happen. We uh, went ahead and put a red dot on there, and we went ahead and put a flashlight on there, and then there was more rail up here, so we put another flashlight on there. Also, the barrel's threaded. And I happen to have a quieter that I'm going to put on there. Now, it is quiet. Oh, I didn't even tell you the best part. This is chambered in 10 millimeter, which it's been years since we've put a 10 millimeter on this chamber. Is that like a 50 cal? Yeah, it's basically like a 50 cal. And, oh, you wanna see what we're gonna shoot? This is actually made by one of you guys. It's homemade bulletproof glass, and they actually did a really, really good job. Oh, I didn't tell the other good part about that. What's the other good part? Show the spring. Oh, look at this. The buttstock's got springs it's got in it. Like, so it's like a... Super comfy. <laughs> when you're shooting it, like a bump stock. And this is the softest thing you've ever felt. Basically, yeah, it's, it's loaded with features. It's the best gun we've ever bought. None of my other guns have a spring-loaded buttstock like in them. Like gel pens. All right, here you go. You can see what he has, really thick layers of glass. And the guy who made this did a much better job than when I tried to make bulletproof glass because his is pretty clear. You can see... Uh, threw it really well. He has a little bit of air trapped over there that messed up, but all this is very clear. You think I could punch through it? Normally we start with a 22 long rifle, but today we're going with something weaker. Whistling diesel. 22 long fist. What kind of glove is this? Oh, uh, it's dude, a punching you glove. You out big time. I don't even have the... That's whatever. a genuine punching glove. Oh my, dude, that's heavy. That's yes. hard, that's hard. Yeah, it's four inches thick. That's what she said. Kind of don't hurt. break your... Oh, I'm scared. That was insane. I was gonna let it go with you. I can't, I can't, I'll break my... Yeah, don't do it. Okay. 22 long rifle time. 22 long rifle out of the Keltec. Old WD's got the... The last time we put this gun in a video, I said we should clean this. We didn't clean it. Damn a little. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Dang, direct hit. Nice. Oh, that's like a dead bullseye. That was great. You can see the bullet. So, feels like this is not glass on this outer layer at least. It's some kind of softer plasticky stuff, plexiglass. But ate the bullet, it is inside. There's no cracks, I wonder if maybe. It like flattened out. Yeah, so there's no cracks like uh, there, like it's hit any hard glass yet. Did it make that? Yeah, that's all new. So it let some air in there. I think now we're gonna go ahead and step it up to a real caliber out of a real gun. 10 millimeter is a sort of not as well known round. Here's a very well known round, a 45 ACP. A nine millimeter is much smaller than this and a 40 cal is quite a bit smaller also. 
This is about the same size as a 40 cal, but you can see it's as tall as a 45 ACP. So there's a lot more powder behind it, making that 10 millimeter go really, really fast. 10 millimeters are powerful. And when you shoot them out of a long barrel, even more powerful. Especially if the long barrel's awesome like this high point. <laughs> We're gonna shoot it. My first time shooting it. We'll see if it runs. Let me turn my flashlights on. Okay, ready to rock. It didn't jam. All right, dang. All right, we're gonna load another mag and let Whistle and Diesel have a crack at it. That's got a little ring. You got one more. Did you hit the glass? No, that would've been awesome. I think you're out now, right? I hit the mouse that was running. Wait, you got one more. Maybe, hit the glass. <laughs> I liked your quick draw though. What? I liked your quick draw where you're like, oh yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I nicked just the top of Wait, it. Wait, what'd it. you hit? Uh, I hit the glass, but I think I just hit the top. You wanna know, set it up? Okay, not gonna lie, I kind of like it. Wait, is that my first shot? Right there? Yeah, that was your, no, that was your other one just now. What is that? That you just mutilated it. <laughs> what? That was just now. What is that? That's the one where you nicked it just now. You had me put it back up. So I did hit it. Yeah. Oh, I no, thought you... I hit like up here. No. Cool, hit it twice, no big deal. So yeah. there you can see we are cracking glass now. So we have hit hard glass. Dude, that's pieces of it. Look at all the little metal shards in there. Oh yeah. So there's lead there. That's it right there. Right? Is that a big That's squish? That's your 22. That's your 22. Oh, okay. Dang, but yeah, you can see all those shards somehow spread out underneath that first layer. That could have been in my head. That's true. 10 millimeter will not go through, but we have bigger rounds. Desert Eagle 50 AE. It's at, that, at the glass and not at the truck. Okay, you're on safe. Flip it up. I meant that was good to go. Make sure you're paying attention. Ow! I got hit in the head with that. <laughs> that thing shoots the shell straight back at it. Did oh, you hit okay. it? No, I missed it. All right, it. quick draw it. Hi. Dang it. That was a hit. Nice work. Out. First try. Look at that. Okay, so that shows you what his outside layer is. It's, oh, yeah, it's just really thin stuff before it gets to the hard glass. I'm super confused. Ooh, is that it? Yeah, that's one, that was new. Crazy, that went in and fell down. That's right under this, so like, it didn't even go into the glass or what? Dang. I think it went into the glass. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. So that cracked even the back layer. Oh, oh it's because when I hit it, it weakened it. When I punched it, That's, it weakened it. That is true, yeah. These are stress fractures that have been there since the punch, you can tell. <laughs> 50 AE did not go through, but it really wanted to. I think we need to move it up to a rifle round. All right, in the comments below, Predict if this will go through or not. What do you think? I think it's gonna go through, but if it doesn't, it probably won't. That sounds like sound judgment to me. I think it's definitely gonna stop 100% of the time, most of the time. All right, 762 by 39 going at the glass. Yeah, I think it went through. Did it? I think it went through. I didn't even see anything. I had my eyes closed the whole time. Dude, there's pieces of it right there. That's that's new, right? That's new. Dude, all the jackets stayed in that first layer. layer. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. That's it, dude, it almost went through, but it didn't. No, no. It's in there. Just as I predicted. <laughs> I have one gun that will go through, probably. Have you ever fired a gold 50? No. Check this out. Wait, hold up, no way. <laughs> okay. I haven't, haven't shot that yet. You're gonna like it. But how do we install that? Just slap her on there? Yeah. That's oh, probably fine. Hold on, wait a fit. <laughs> now shoot it. It's good. Okay. <laughs> 50 BMG. Yeah, doggy. It's heavy on the end. <laughs> All right, I think it's going through. Yeah. Are you gonna aim it or nah? Did you see that one blow up in the end of the barrel? Did you see that big flash? 
<laughs> that happened the other day too. Those things sometimes go off in the end of the barrel and go Phew. Hey, you hit it twice. Yeah, I hit something. I'm pretty sure it went through. It went through just a little bit. Like actually a lot of it. I don't even think it tried to stop it. Ooh. You hit it twice and those were not those were not armor penetrating rounds. Ooh. This is the side it went in. Look. Those were incendiaries. It burned it. Oh, gross. And so it went in, exploded under here, and then just blew out the back, baseball sized holes in that armor. Look at the hole in the ground. Here and here. <laughs> so that last round, I don't know if you guys could see it, if my camera caught it. The last round, the incendiary went off in the suppressor. So I could feel the heat, by the way. I, could, I felt the yeah. heat. Yeah, well, it was, it was flashing way down range, and then this one went off at the tip of the suppressor. You see the shockwave. And went I actually don't think that's the shockwave. I think no? that's the camera. Well, maybe. I don't no, know. That's, that's like the front. So, main. Oh, because that's coming straight at this camera. Yeah. That's a flash coming right out at the camera. But you can't even see how the gun is, is engulfed. I felt the heat on my hand. That's crazy. <laughs> so you can see this kind of like smoke around here. That's because that flash went And then if you look here, it actually hit the tip of that. So those rounds, when they hit something, they flash, they explode. So that hit right here. It went through this whole suppressor, hit the tip, and then went boom. And all that fire came out right there. And he's still alive. Good to go. It just feels so junky. You know what I've noticed is my shoulder actually feels really good thanks to that spring in the stock. It's good quality. Can we retry that once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the goal is to hit them all in a row as fast as I can. Action. You going? Yep. Dang it! We got more ammo. Okay, this is uh, for his first time shooting it right now. We're gonna see how, it, how we're gonna see how it runs. <laughs> Pretty good. Are you shooting like a pistol? It jammed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we did get a jam. I think it's loaded. Actually, I'm gonna admit, kind of like the high point. First time I've, I've ever said that. Hopefully the last time I ever say that, because high points are the worst. But this carving's kind of legit. Like, fairly cheap. 10 millimeters, so lots of power. Fin the house with this. And it fits a suppressor, which is pretty cool. Go check out Whistlin' Diesel. He's gonna take my Raptor for a spin on the channel. Freshly detailed. I did, I cleaned it for him. Actually, it's, it's, it's a beauty right now. Go look at his channel though, it'll be featured over there. Have fun. Thanks for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple, there's only one rule in the demolitia. You don't tell Mayor. Hey, you guys made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Uh, check this out. I look through this thing, see if I can see it. We definitely have a baffle strike in there. So you can see it's not a smooth circle in there. Definitely had a baffle strike in the old Barrett suppressor. My genuine Barrett suppressor shooting on a Barrett, regular ammo and it blasted it. So, yeah, I'm gonna send this thing off. Get it checked out. You'll be okay, little buddy.